Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. We are currently still establishing our starter base. You have to imagine that none of this is gonna exist in the future. We will be making a dedicated worker base, maybe on the second planetoid, I'm not sure yet. And then this planetoid eventually could become the hotel and the petting zoo. We'll see about that. More concerning right now is that we are slowly but surely getting into troubles here on the surface. Surface. It seems you are one or two meteor showers away here from breaching the surface. So I think investing research time into the bunker task could be the solution to go for. At the same time, we're also researching the metal refinery and the metal task. So yeah, both of these researches are going to be useful. However, we do need some applied science research for this. So maybe we should go ahead and research that first, which is right here together with the material study. In terms of radiation, we don't have many options, but we might have some options here on the second planetoid. We also have some skill points to give out. I think now would be the time to get into rocket piloting so eventually we can do the data analysis researcher but i might first go with suit sustainability training yeah let's do that rocket training as for Joshua, it's clear we're gonna get into grilling too so that is out of the way and may i might want to start with the research tree for them yeah i'm gonna wait for nisbet's next downtime and then i'm gonna send her over to the second planetoid to check it out and maybe prepare it for a permanent duplicant i also removed a lot of the deodorizer so we can accumulate more sand which of course means we are having more polluted oxygen so i decided to also put a deodorizer here that is protecting our refrigerator Wonderful. Nisbet is done with her downtime. Let's go ahead and send her to the teleporter. There we go. Are you ready? Let's do it. Have a good journey. Oh, here we go. Wow. She didn't even get printed. I love the printing animation. Over here we have 13,000 kilocalories. We do have some Weezwords that we could bring over to generate radiation. And we also have pips. Very nice. Now looking around, there's a lot of aluminium, but actually not a lot of iron so far. So maybe I was wrong and we don't even have enough iron. By the way, we should start digging a little bit here. We get igneous rock. So we can use the igneous rock to build a ladder up here and maybe another one there. And then we're going to build our infrastructure on the top there. It looks like the entire planetoid is really cold. So growing crops on here might be an issue. The teleporter back home is located down here, which is something I can reach eventually. Let's go all the way down with this ladder. When it comes to oxygen for now, we're going to live off the oxalite here. And I'm not going to yet defrost the friend here. Nisbet is much quicker anyways. Good, I now have access to the material study terminal. In order to run that, I would need a whole bunch of coal, which I still don't have large quantities of. Yeah, 17 tons is not going to get us anywhere. And the material study terminal is going to take 120 watts to run. And if we want to collect wrap bolts, we could use the manual generator. Maybe there's some uranium to be found. And if that doesn't work, we'll have to go for the rat bolt generator. But this one here sucks 480 watts, which means I cannot really supply it with a manual generator. We would have to upgrade it. It doesn't look like this planetoid comes with meteor showers. How about the light? It is bright so a good candidate for solar panels. The solar panels are just one research away, also applied science, but that still means I cannot do the applied science on this planetoid, at least not from the start. So the easiest would be to get a Weezwort on this planetoid, let it produce some radiation and charge up the material study terminal this way. Let me just go ahead and set this up here. We can get rid of the ladder and then the material study terminal could reside somewhere. Mm, this is not good. It really should be on the other side so my dupe can work safely. Let's put the box over here and a little bit up and then we're just gonna make a wall of radiation protection. Eventually we could use better materials but for now I think this is gonna be fine. At least when it comes to to these words they don't penetrate the walls quite as well so i'm gonna put the material study terminal approximately here that should be fine maybe let's leave the upper row here free in order to access the power wire on blazona then i want to get to the closest wheeze ward which i think is here and we're just gonna dig it up and then eventually i want to bring it to this conveyor loader but i think we need our researcher in order to activate this yeah requiring the field research skill so before we send over the researcher, I want to make sure we find the other teleporter and maybe even get to analyze some geysers. On the second planetoid, I'm already going to inspect everything so we get the data banks. 
Okay, then I would say we're gonna give Nisbet something to do here. We're gonna start with the basics. We need some toilets, we need a great hall, and we need a bedroom. Let's set up a laboratory here. In this world, I'm gonna give them a shower because there's more radiation pollution, and the shower might help in that regard. Naturally, we're also gonna need a sink, and that should be everything for the bathroom. Let's also set up some doors. Actually, thinking about it, I should first build the bedroom. That makes more sense the way they actually use the facilities. So let's say this is going to be our bedroom for up to three duplicates. And then we're going to have the bathroom with the laboratory, shower and sink. Well, it's just going to be a barracks, but at least we can accommodate three duplicates. And then finally, we need three mess tables, get a water cooler in the joint as well as a flower pot. And then finally, I'm also going to set up a fridge. Then on the very end here, we still have the space to maybe set up a small power system. Let's go with a generator and then just a jumbo battery with bunch of wires. For now, we only have to support the fridge, but there will be more, such as the water sieve. Speaking of the water sieve, we're gonna set this up right here. Oh, there's also some meal wood. So this could be another plant that we're going for now. And we also have oxyburn. Very nice. By the way, we're gonna set up the water sieve now right there. Also get some plumbing hooked up here in a loop and this will go up. Uh, let's only make it go up one and then all the way over into the sieve. Now, is this a problem temperature wise? It might eventually become a problem. Let's head into research and I'm now interested in researching the insulated tile. Are we researching something currently? Yeah, I think we're going for the wrap bolt generator. It can wait a moment. I want the insulated tile and maybe even the space heater is going to be useful. Okay, I think I found our first interplanetary duplicate here, Lyra. She's got suit wearing, researching and rocketry. And if we look at the skills for an interplanetary dupe we definitely want the rocket piloting and we want exosuit wearing that will be a lot of light skills and we only use the morale for mechatronics engineering yeah i think we have to do it but i'm not going to print her right now because we would have to feed her well at the moment we have enough food actually i forgot about the super duper hard digging we still need morale for that as well but still she's good yeah, what the heck, we can support her. We can already print her. Let's just forget about caution. Lyra, welcome to the party. What are you going to do first? Well, I guess we're going to do the free skill here. Or maybe if we put the points into research, she's going to learn a little bit quicker. That might be good to begin with. For now, I'm going to put Lyra here into the last schedule. And in terms of priorities, she's going to be an overall dupe. She should be allowed to help out with farming. And then we got some decorating. We got cooking she's definitely gonna prioritize rocketry and she's allowed to do doctoring well that might not be useful and she's also allowed to do the attacking just researching is going to be for the researcher and rancher i'm not going to do on a different planetoid we'll just probably send over the food in this case i'm probably just going to disallow cooking as well in the meantime on blizzona we're making some progress nisbet is sleeping she will want to pee at some point but we are not at the risk of actually polluting something so i'm just gonna allow her to pee on the floor once also the upper layer here i'm probably gonna make out of insulated material let's maybe get that sorted out first oh, there it is knees bed it's all good we're all looking away all good nice research completed we got access to the insulated tile this is basically not gonna allow any heat from seeping through at least not the kind of heat we're seeing here and i want to insulate everything that will have to do with our bathroom loop Maybe we're even going to have to protect it a little further all the way down to here. Looks like Nisbet already slept inside the bed. Where's she going? Ah, of course, grabbing some food. And then she's enjoying her meal in her own soil. Good times, good times. I think temporarily for Nisbet, I have to enhance tidying because honestly, the poop all over the place is still a little bit disgusting. You know, that's a funny dupe. Farming nine in agriculture, but then allergic reaction to floral scent. Good joke there. Nisbet, in the meantime, is making her way all the way down to the teleporter. And there is actually the other teleporter. Very nice. So maybe we can also already dig over there. On the main planetoid, we're just gonna make some progress here with the digging project. Even without our digger, we can do quite a bit of it. And then I'm also gonna process my sandstone to sand forever. And another thing we can do is eggshell to lime. We even have four tons of fossil that we can refine into lime already getting ready to smelt some steel later on. By the way, cycle 69. 
my theory with the meteor showers is not working out. The next meteor shower was now way more than 15 cycles. But let's see, is this site here gonna survive or not? I mean, it also depends whether or not we experience a strike over there. There was a minor strike. Yeah, I think we're gonna be good this time around. But there are definitely some breaches now going on. We can see that happening and our time is limited. One thing we could do to get ahead of the curve is already set up the smelting area, for instance, in this cold biome. We could really also do it at the bottom. This might be the easier solution. And then we also have all of these volcanoes. Though it would be interesting to activate a volcano and then just utilize the chill we have going on in the surrounding blocks. You know what? I might actually be willing to test this out. We're already gonna reveal the volcano here. Right now it is already in a vacuum. So maybe we can preserve the vacuum before we make our way in. All we really need is a bottle emptier and then doing this right. Uh, let's just make it the safe way. Just adding a little liquid lock to make it in there safely. We will then be using some igneous rock in order to insulate the volcano. Maybe only... Yeah, let's just go and make it as small as possible. Uh, we're gonna give it some breathing room. I think Nisbet enjoyed a proper toilet now. She's been messing around for a couple of days, but this has an end right now. Just need to hook up this pump and... Oh no, consequences. Um, okay, okay, we can save this. But it sucks. Nisbet, where are you? How can we fix this? This is just gonna swap over. I don't like this. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be quick enough to open up this pocket here and then allow the liquid to just drop down. Uh, is she gonna do it? No, she's going to sleep. Of course. Well, Good night, Nisbet. It's not like we need you right now. We're, we're screwed. Now the water is going to drop all the way down. <sighs> okay, I hate to do it, but Nisbet, you slept enough. You now need to make room. That's more important. So I'm quickly going to put her into the next schedule. And then she should go back to work. Okay, 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 okay. I think we can prevent the worst from happening and still collect a lot of water down here. No, Nisbet! Okay. <laughs> It's my fault. It's my fault. Don't worry. Don't worry. But maybe if we mop this up, like with high priority, she's going to do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. And there we go. We did it. Was that so hard, Nisbet? Was that so hard? Now there's no more time. Let's put her into that schedule just for one moment. No. I want Nisbet in here. Well, in this case... I would say we're gonna build this pump somewhere else. I can bring this down, no problem. Liquid pump goes here and the power wires as well. By the way, we already had a minor radiation sickness even though I only had like 35 rats or so. That's kind of crazy, I'm already curious how this will turn out. Recently we just researched the power control station, we got access to the smart battery, I also got access to the rat bolt generator that we'll be placing with obsidian somewhere up here. Maybe we're just gonna have two or three in a row, we'll see. Let's build one and now when it comes to research I wanna go for the solar panel next. We got some more skills to give out. Ren, first of all, is going to get into electrical engineering. Meep right here. Eventually, I want to make quicker. So we're going to get into rocket piloting. As for Armari, let me see. Suit sustainability probably now. Yeah, let's do it. And then Nisbet on the other planetoid, I'm going to put into demolition. Right now on the other planetoid, she doesn't have the required morale. So I'm just going to wait with that. Also, I need to allow my duplicates to get in in order to get their skill points properly. Well, they would still be getting the skill points technically, but it's still better. I don't know what it does, really. Nice. Looks like Joshua earned another skill point. I'm gonna invest that into improved carrying. In the meantime, we're almost done here. All I need is a little bit of power, so we probably need to prioritize that, or maybe it's time to defrost the friend. Why not? Let's go ahead and see what we actually get. Come on, Nisbet, give me something good. It is... And Ari! Hello Ari, welcome to the tribe. What can you do? Some skills in science and cuisine. He's also interested in research, operating and grilling. This is... wow! This is great! He has a decreased bathroom use speed. He has a lower germ resistance. He's an ugly crier and a sticker bomber. Okay, very interesting. Let's see. I want him in the first schedule. That is probably fine. Actually, I might not want that since Nisbet is on the planetoid as well. I'm gonna put him here into the last schedule. In terms of priorities, he's gonna spend his time on this planetoid. He should be able to do everything, including maybe decorating 
rocketry, I don't know, doctoring, attacking, just everything to the same priority. Also gonna allow him to do some farming. Now, it would be great if you started by... Well, okay, never mind. Thank you very much. And now we can utilize the machine here. If we hook this up for a brief moment, we should be able to fill up the necessary things. That's already good enough. I'm just going to allow this to fill up the toilets. And I just see I built the water sieve the wrong way around. No, wait a second. I don't think I had it the wrong way around. Yeah, geez, what am I talking about? Good. At this point, I think I want to send over my researcher for a brief moment. Chin, you can do it. Use that teleporter, make me proud. There you go, let's teleport over, maybe inspect these guys as well. And then as soon as we're here, I just want to go ahead and activate the two teleporters. Chin should be going for them right away because it's a research task. Going to change setting, yeah, there we go. Activating the teleporter, very nice. There's another thing I would like to install here and that is a rock crusher. We're just going to go ahead and hook that up. And I'm also going to bring the cable all the way down here to the conveyor loader. Both my teleporters are already activated. That is essentially everything I wanted to do. We're going to set up some mesh tasks here and then send Jean back. As for the conveyor loader, there are a few things that I would like to collect for instance, well, just everything that I don't necessarily want on this planetoid that might even be the critter eggs. Maybe we want to collect them on the first planetoid to set up the zoo. Then in terms of filtration medium, we still need sand on this planetoid. So we're not going to send that over, but I'm going to send over the data banks. That's for sure. It might be interesting to send over all of the ice and snow and polluted ice. And I definitely want to send over the iron ore. So we might have to dig some up in order to get some. Gene is using the teleporter so he can go back thank you very much for activating everything and before i forget we probably have to do that here on this planetoid too where are my teleporters here activate and activate wait nisbet making more messes that can only mean the water sieve is not doing its thing i just don't get it let's cut it this way and now wait yeah this way it should be going inside okay better and now all we need is the filtration medium we can go with igneous rock we also have a little bit of sandstone here but igneous rock is what we're mostly getting from this planetoid let's do 50 crafts and that should be enough to get the water sieve started let's set up some more skill points lira for instance i want her to go the rocket piloting route right eventually she's also gonna need the field research i think for now i want her to be a little bit more useful when shipping materials and then nisbet could go either into demolition or improved carrying too uh, i think i'm gonna finally do the demolition skill here yeah let's even give her the cap and then as for ari i'm gonna start with advanced research let me see do we even need that not necessarily well we'll be needing the field research so advanced research and field research he's improved in science a little bit and that makes him quicker in learning i think i'm also gonna give him the crazy field research cap and then we're also gonna go towards the improved tinkering route. Right now, I don't really need it, but carrying capacity could be useful. There is my metal ore, so it should finally appear in the conveyor loader. Iron ore. I'm also gonna send over some eggshells, maybe the archie that we find here. Polluted dirt can also move over rot piles, slime. Yeah, as a matter of fact, the entire organic category can move over. I'm gonna send over the fossils since we're processing that there. And then I'm also gonna send over all of the seeds. Allow manual use and then a duplicate can come and just bring that here. It will be automatically brought over as long as we have enough juice to support it. But there we go. That's a pretty good start to the beginning of this world i'm gonna leave nisbet for a couple more cycles in order to help with the digging process but afterwards ari is gonna have to handle it himself also, I want to make sure that we finally get the toilet going. But yeah, with that out of the way, I would say we're going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.